everybody, my name is Anna and I want to welcome you back to my craft room. Today I'm going to show you how I made this Knit Look Tunisian Crochet Washcloth. Now I used scrap yarn to make this, I've got four different colors, five different colors, one, two, three, four, and just finished it off with a different one here. I still have my tails because I just finished this. But as you can see, this looks like it was knitted. Looks like you've got the stockinette stitch there going on. But indeed, this was done with a Tunisian crochet hook. There is my backside, in case you're interested in that. So what I'm going to show you is how I do this. This is the second washcloth that I have made. If you notice, it lays completely flat. I have not blocked this or washed this or done anything to this. Like I said, I just finished it off. So I'm going to show you how I made this stitch. I don't know if this is a regular stitch in a stitch book for Tunisian crochet. I just kind of made it up. If you know how to do the simple Tunisian extended stitch, then you can do this. It is, I call it the extended knit stitch. Like I said, if it's a real stitch, cool. If it's not, I guess I just made one up. But anyway, I've started out here. There is no set number of stitches that you need to crochet for this. I think I've got 30 stitches here for my washcloth, and it's pretty much square. I think if I made it, it's pretty much square. You can make it however big or however small you would like. So for this example, I have chained 15 stitches. This is just a regular chain. The only other stitches you need to know for this is how to do the Tunisian knit stitch and how to do a single crochet. I am also using a long Tunisian crochet hook. I am using a six millimeter. You can use whatever size you would like, but this is my preferred stitch or stitch. This is my preferred needle for making washcloths. Once you get however many chains you want, like I said, I'm just going to do a little sw short swatch for you. Go ahead and make a simple Tunisian, like you're just going to start a simple Tunisian project, and pull up a loop in every chain across. Personally, I just go into the top loop like I would when I do regular crochet. If you choose, you can go in the back bumps. That is completely up to you. I don't like going into the back bumps, so that's why I go into the top loop. And once you get this going, it works up really fast. And once you get to the end with your last loop, just do the regular return all the way across back to the other side. And with these, you can use either cotton yarn or acrylic yarn, whatever type of yarn you prefer. I like using cotton yarn for washcloths, and for dishcloths, I prefer to use acrylic yarn. Because acrylic yarn is a little bit abrasive, and it helps hold it up a little bit better, I think. Plus, I also like to use the acrylic for making uh, washcloths or dishcloths or towels whatever to do my cleaning. All right. Once you get back to the end, I like to pull mine a little tighter and we're going to chain one and then we're going to go in between the front and the back vertical bar right there where that hole is. Right there. All the way to the back. Pull up a loop and chain. And you're going to continue that all the way across. Find that in between there, pull up a loop all the way across. You're going to go through that all the way to the back, come all the way to the back, pull up a loop, and chain. So let's continue to do that the rest of the way to the end.
get here to the end and just do the end stitch like you normally would. We're going to pull up that loop and then we're going to chain one. So here we have our first row of what I call the extended Tunisian knit stitch. And as you can tell, this is not curling up, it is laying flat. So on the way back, I chain one more and then chain again and pull through two. It might look kind of weird, but this right here is going to be your first stitch or your last stitch, not this one, but this one right here. So just do a normal return all the way back. All right, let's do that one more time. And then I will show you how I like to finish off my washcloths. We get to this end, we're gonna chain one, so it gets us up to that extended position. We're gonna go through in between those two bars, right there, all the way to the back, drop a loop, and then we're gonna chain. We're gonna do this all the way back to the other end. I think the second row is a little easier than the first row because your loops are a little bit bigger, or at least for me they are. So we're down here at this end. We're not going to go into this one, which would be your first one. We're going to go into this one right here, which would be your second, like when you chained it after you put your first loop in. Just go into there and finish it off. And we're going to chain one to get us up to that Tunisian knit position. Or not Tunisian knit. Tunisian extended knit position. So that's what we have. That's what yours should be starting to look like as well. Looks like we have a knit stitch here. We've also got one in the middle. So let's do our return one more time. We're up to the extended knit position. I'm gonna chain one and then chain another and pull through two. We're gonna do that all the way back to the other end. So there we have it. And the way I like to finish off my washcloths is just a regular single crochet across the top, which I know that is not the norm for Tunisian crochet, but that's how I like to do it. So to do that, being that we are doing the knit stitch, we are going to do a single crochet just like we would if we were doing that row. We're gonna go in between those loops and do a single crochet. Go in between those loops like you're going to do the knit stitch, but make a single crochet. That way it keeps your stitch pattern the same at the top as it would as the rest of your project. Alright, and once again, like we did before, we're not going to go in this one. 
we're going to go in this next one, which would be the top stitch of your extended Tunisian knit stitch. Single crochet there. You can finish that off. And there you have a lay flat washcloth. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment box below. You can also visit my blog, talesfromthecraftroom.net. There will also be a link to that down in the description box below. I will have some basic written instructions there, as well as this little video clip and a picture of my washcloth. Also on my blog, there are all of my Tunisian crochet and knit how-tos or crochets with me are all linked with the tabs at the cross at the top of the page. So if you're interested in Tunisian crochet, go check that out. I've got several how-tos and crochet with me's on Tunisian crochet, and I would love to have you join me over there. You can either subscribe via WordPress or you can subscribe via email and get that delivered to your email inbox every time I post something new. So I thank you for joining me here in the craft room. I hope to see you right back here for my next video.